10 things about vitamins. What are some crazy things that people should know about vitamins? Okay, number one, dietary supplements in the United States are not required to be tested for safety or for efficacy before they're sold. So you could just be getting anything? You could be getting anything. Number two. Number two, there are no side effects listed on this bottle of antidepressant herbal supplement. This is an issue because St. John's wort interferes and interacts with upwards of 50% of pharmaceutical drugs that you could ingest, including antidepressants, which is ironic because people take it for antidepressant purposes, and organ transplant drugs, so you can reject a kidney if you're also taking St. John's wort, and birth control. There's a lot of motivation to put extra stuff into these products to make them do things that they say. So there's a lot of sexual enhancement herbal products that have Viagra or Viagra analogs put in them to the point that I met one chemist who opened up an herbal supplement and a piece of a Viagra tumbled out. So there's really no way to guarantee that what it says on that label is actually in the bottle. Flintstones. I took Flintstones when I was a kid. I did too, because we all did, right? So what's strange though about that is that I can't tell if I buy this as a chewable and then I buy a Flintstones gummy or a Finding Nemo gummy or whatever else, or a pill, they could have totally different formulations of vitamins in them. Another thing, on the back, you'll see the supplement facts panel, which is supposed to tell you what percentage of your daily needs each of these tablets or serving size contains. So these percentages, are calculated based on the recommendations from 1968. They're out of date by 50 years. Mm -hmm. Outdated by up to 50 years. I'm Maybe wondering if they're still chalky like they were when I was a kid. We could try. We just had so many vitamins today. Really overdosing today. Let's talk about vitamin A for a second. Okay. Can you overdose on vitamin A? Yes, so you can overdose on vitamin A very easily because it's a fat soluble vitamin that builds up in your body. And then what else can I tell you? <sighs> riboflavin makes your pee neon yellow. What is riboflavin? That's vitamin B2. It makes your pee yellow. So if you want to know if you remember to take your multivitamin, just pee. Vitamin B12. This is just kind of a funny fact that this is made by bacteria. And those bacteria exist in places including cow rumens, sewage sludge, and the mud of the San Francisco Bay. <laughs> What vitamin is used as rat poison? Rat poison. Vitamin D is used as rat poison. Which what? is very is interesting that? to me because a dose of vitamin D that is lethal to a small mammal will not be lethal to a child if they happen to ingest the poison. And so it's a very safe way to control vermin in your house. And lastly, so, but not least, yes. we're in this huge natural expo. Everywhere we look is the word natural and I just I think it's very interesting that there is no definition of the word natural. And the U.S. government has tried four years to define natural, including suggestions like, would it have been in your grandmother's kitchen? I mean, they're really pulling... That was a suggestion. Yeah, but there's no agreed upon definition. I guess it's hard because everything is natural. Everything's natural. It's, it's just gone through a series of steps to get here, some more than others. Exactly, exactly. Well, uh, these have been some fascinating points about vitamins and supplements. Uh, this is Catherine Price. She uh, wrote the book on vitamins. In fact, literally, this is her book, uh, Vitamania. You can go check it out. I'll put a link down in the description. Cool, thank you. Thank you.